Hello, I'm Keith Best and I'm Chief Executive of Freedom From Torture, which is a national charity which has been going since 1985, uh, providing rehabilitation services for torture survivors from all over the world. We've got five centres around the country and at any one moment of time we will have about a thousand torture survivors who are undergoing therapy to help rebuild their lives that have been broken through mental and physical torture. And it's really a great privilege to work in that field because you see people, quite literally, whose personality has been destroyed because that's the purpose of torture. They have lost all faith in all human beings and through our careful care through a variety of different therapies we can bring them back into a domain where they can then re-engage their very considerable skills and talents which are a benefit to any society. But we don't stop there. We also act as the voice of torture survivors. So we do a lot of advocacy. We use the experience we gain from the clinical care, uh, particularly writing expert medical legal reports which document the torture that have been suffered by people. We compile those into country of information reports and we use those to hold the torturing states to account. We've had some considerable success on that. We're still getting uh, angry exchanges from the Sri Lankan government for pointing out ongoing torture there. And last year, we had a major success because when our report was presented to the Iranian representative uh, in Geneva, remember this is a regime that's never admitted to uh, the fact that torture is going on in that country ever since 1979, he finally admitted, faced with our evidence, that torture is going on. And the UN Special Rapporteur on torture, Dr. Ahmed Shaheed said uh, to us that that was entirely as a result of our evidence. So we punch above our weight. Why am I here? Because students can make all the difference. Uh, I hope they will get as angry as I do when they see the poverty that asylum seekers and particularly torture survivors face. I hope they will feel compassion when they realise how that poverty can so inhibit the rehabilitation of torture survivors and give them extra trauma on top of all that they've suffered. But I hope they will also understand that their voice is a signal one in this campaign to try to end the appalling discrimination against asylum seekers and the poverty that they face as a result of public indifference, the press's uh, antagonism and the government's desire to save money at any cost. That's why you as students can make a difference and that's why I hope you will gain some inspiration from the subject matter that you will be dealing with because believe me, it's very well worth it.